guys, this is Bohan Girl 84 Welcome back to my Let's Play. I think this is gonna be the final video of this Let's Play, because we're- yeah. I can just tell. I remember. Alright, there. This is good. They're giving us ammo here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play so far. You know, revisiting this game all these years later, even though this is the PS4 version. I do have to say one gripe that I had, and I expressed it in my Leon campaign is there's no subtitles even the original version of this game had subtitles and it, it's really a shame because especially sometimes what will happen is i'll be walking away from my partner and they'll say something and you can barely make out what they're saying sometimes you can't even make out what they're saying which is really odd escape okay yeah so the bow obviously did obviously didn't go you know, didn't go down that easily. Ah, uh, whenever the camera. Oh, that's how you slide. Yeah, you see, whenever the oh god, Th that this gets a little annoying because whenever the camera whips around like that, my character just ch changes directions. Ah, fucking hell. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. God damn it! Oh! Pierce! <gasps> Pierce got stuck! Oh my god. Okay, so my partner died. Alright. Oh. Yeah, sometimes I can't tell when it's time to run. Hey, you see the camera whip keeps whipping around like that, so I wind up running into the wall or running to the edge of the of this walkway. It's really annoying. Okay, now I can run. Okay, now I understand what I'm supposed to do. Hopefully, Piers is right behind me. Oh no, Piers, hurry up! I have to mash this button like a mad woman. Thanks, Captain. Christ. It's just, it's just... Oh, we have to do this again? Oh, someone really loved this. It, it, what? Oh my god, this time we're running away from it in a different way. Oh, the doors are nothing to it. Oh, it does have eyes, okay. So I have a checkpoint. Oh, this is interesting. I'm really not able... I don't see what I'm able to do here. But I think you have to wait for Piers to do this, to inject himself with that... I guess it is a C-virus. When I first saw that moment, I thought that that was actually really interesting. This is really interesting. I can't do anything. I had to wait for him to attack. Alright, now I've regained control. Pressure at the bell. Ceiling all 
Checkpoint. So it looks like we have to fight him again. Oh. This time there are more obvious. There are more obvious places or spots on the body that I can shoot at. Yeah, when I first played this, I thought that that was... That was an interesting moment where they had a main character get really horribly maimed like that. And then, not only that, but then make this drastic decision to infect himself. To infect himself, knowing what, what that would mean. I thought that that was really cool. And of all the games, Resident Evil 6 did that. Switch to this, maybe? Oh, he... Alright, I'm trying to get behind him. I was trying to get... Yeah, he hit Piers. I was trying to get behind him because there's those really obvious thing. Oh, there we go. Just waiting for Piers to do that. Yeah, Piers is... Yeah. Talk about fighting fire with fire, right? Am I supposed to be doing anything else here? Uh... Oh, I, I guess I missed my opportunity. Whoops! I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I- I'm running ri- Oh! Oh! I was wondering if it worked like, you know, Resident Evil 5. Okay, so now I know what to do. Alright, so you're basically supposed to shoot him until he goes into the cuckoo. Shoot him again, and then melee him. Maybe. That re that sort of reminds me of the Wesker fight in Resident Evil 5. Okay, so I s I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I, I I was wasting ammo. So hopefully I won't I won't make that same mistake again. Uh am I dead? Is this an instant kill? Interesting. Yeah, no, no. See, if he- I think the issue is that if he emerges out of it himself instead of us shooting him, I guess he has- I guess he's stronger or something. But at least if we shoot him out of the cocoon, what I guess he's more vulnerable. So, I'm starting to understand that a bit better. Alright, now that he's here, Pierce. Pierce, shoot him. There you go. There you go, Pierce. You got this. Damn it. No, it's just that he turns his attention to me. And when he's facing me, I have a hard time hitting the hitting the areas that I'm supposed to hit. Okay, then he has those. Oh no, those those tentacle things really are a pain in the ass, dude. Oh, come on! And then he drags me right towards him. Ow! Fucker. No! He's gonna hit me again! Fuck off! Oh no, am I gonna have a rage montage in this video too? With all the final bosses? There we go, there we go, there we go. Now, he'll cocoon. He'll cocoon. And I'll shoot his ass. There you go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Melee!
maybe one more time? Maybe one more time. Why can't I... I couldn't change my gun for a second. What the hell was that? Oh, boy. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't want to get hit by that. Piers got hit by it. Okay, so something hit me. And, the, and, and, and to be fair, I get that Piers is not completely invulnerable. But this is really annoying when he just keeps turning around and facing me, focusing his attention on me. Okay, now. See, it's hard for me to tell. Alright. There you go. Alright, let me switch to a powerful gun right now. So I can get him. He's gonna he's gonna form that cocoon. Wait for him to form it. I'll shoot him out of it, melee his ass. There you go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah! I got a checkpoint! I think this means... I think this means something. Oh! I have to crawl to it. Piers is trying to... Come on, come on, get over there, get over there! Oh god. Oh my god. That- that QT, I have a hard time with. Oh, we are fucked up. Oh my god. Come on, just stay with me. You're gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Captain. BSAA for the future. I know. You did a real good thing. As long as you. I don't want to hear it. We're both getting out of here. Right? Let's go. I should probably heal myself. You hear me? Oh, they're oh they're spawning okay I guess only Piers is I'm gonna spray just in case oh whoops I'm sorry I sprayed us with acid <laughs> yeah the constant camera angle changes are really floor just sort of fell out. Okay, but at least we're here. Okay.
Got it. Here we go, Pierce. We're getting out of here. Wow. So that's it for Chris's campaign. Definitely way more action-oriented than Leon's campaign. If, Like I said, it felt faster. I beat it much more quickly than Leon's campaign. You know, it's fun, but it wasn't as fun to me as Leon's campaign. I still think that that's the best of the four campaigns. I still have, I mean, I still have yet to sort of replay Jake's and Ada's campaign, but I, from what I remember from them, they're just not as good, but, I mean, they're still fun. But one thing that I do have to say that I, I think I absolutely like about Chris's campaign that I thought was really cool and really interesting is that, you know, the irony of the Resident Evil series is that it's survival horror, and yet I feel like it's relatively tame for the most part, and, uh, this is, you know, they, they, the way, the way Piers got injured was pretty brutal. You know, it's rare for me to see, especially like a main character who you could actually play as, like I could have played as Piers, a main character getting maimed like that. You know, he, he was thrown and he, his arm got impaled and then that B.O.W., I think it's called House, I'm not sure. But um, that B.O.W. threw some debris, you know, winding up basically severing Pierce's arm or severely injuring it. And then what happened was that, of course, Pierce saw that Chris was in mortal danger. So he wound up, you know, of course, ripping himself off from his arm and then making that decision to inject himself with the C-Virus. To me, hands down, that was the best part of the campaign, the most impactful. 
and the fact that you could play as that character but that character doesn't survive i mean don't get me wrong there are other resident evil games where you can play as a character who does wind up dying later like steve burnside for instance you take control of him but you're not actually actively taking control of him as he's dying or as he's infected right you control him much earlier in the game so that's what i mean like taking control of a character who has made the decision to inject himself for the sake of saving uh saving his captain's life and whatnot so i thought that that was pretty cool pretty interesting and of all games to do a, what i think is a pretty gutsy thing it, it, this this was the game which is pretty awesome so i'm gonna yeah so it was i like that moment i like that moment a lot but other than that you know this is kind of like actiony not not really too remarkable so let me just go ahead and skip i remember that there is a way to skip the credits it's the uh it's the middle button Receive new orders. Better get to it then. Yes, sir. There it is, Resident Evil 6. And, and I forgot to mention that the other thing, duty calls. Got an A rank, even though I. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why the music wasn't playing. But that's one, one thing I do. The other thing that I did also like was kind of like that exploration of, you know, Chris being an alcoholic and he sort of abandoned his duty. It was like six months Pierce, Pierce took to find him. Although I have to say, I personally wouldn't have put him in charge of a team if he just abandoned his duty like that. But... That's this game, though. That's Resident Evil. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm over time, probably. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I enjoyed playing it. Um, it was fun. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in the next video where I'll be doing Jake's campaign. So... I hope to see you guys then.